Hi, my name is Dong Yeon Son. I'm a graduate student at Busan National University. Today, I'm going to talk about an ensemble of deep and shallow graph convolutional networks for identifying disease gene association. There is little known gene disease association compared to the number of con candidate genes and diseases. Because of the sparsity of the data, general recommendation system methods cannot solve the above problem. Therefore, we need to use additional information about each gene and disease. The ground truth gene disease associations are assembled from the OMIM database. There are 3954 known gene phenotype associations extracted, spanning 3209 disease phenotypes and 1231 genes. Three data were used to create gene feature, gene orthology extracted from A species, human net, bio GPS and connectivity map. We perform PCA for its data set and lower the dimension to 100. We create final gene feature concatenating its pre-processed data. Two data were used to create disease feature, mean minor OMIM disease clinical features. Likewise, we perform PCA and create final disease feature. We can create a similarity matrix using the covariance matrix of feature data. Then all input data is ready. Before I show my model, let's see the GCN matrix factorization model. This model increased its predictive performance by using GCN for disease gene association prediction. However, due to a small amount of learning data and oversmoothing of GCN, the only one layer was used. To capture unknown nonlinear association between disease and genes, we apply a multi-layered <coughs> graph convolutional networks model. To avoid information loss in deep layers, we combine a model with shallow layers with another model with deep layers. In the shallow model, a single GCN operation is performed. Then we perform element-wise product of a pair of output features. For your information, GCN performs the following computational processes. Its feature multiplies with a common weight matrix and provides its value to the adjacent node. And the values collected on each node go through the activation function and become a new feature. In the deep model, three GCN operations are performed. Then we concatenate a pair of output features. After concatenating the result vectors of shallow GCN and deep GCN, calculate the score by linear combination. The model is trained by comparing its score to the ground truth value. The whole process the whole process is illustrated above. Our model outperformed the existing model in all evaluations. In particular, the model's performance was further enhanced when additional data from this GNET were used for training. In summary, 
deep layer GCN causes an over-smoothing problem. Shallow layer has a limitation of capacity. A, combina co a combined model can be used to take advantage of deep and shallow models. Thank you for listening.